Hello, my name is Ivansky, or as people know me, Ivan Kramer. And I just want to share my experience and my story of when I was a child. And I remember this one incident when I was a child. I was about seven years old. I was at school and I remember going to school and I remember there's four teachers, they cornered me because I had these massive black rings around my eyes and they were concerned, they were worried, they were like, what's going on here? And to tell the truth, I was actually kind of suicidal and I wanted to end it all. And it was from all the trauma, all the trauma I've had as a child. I remember my father would be whipping me with his belt and I just remember like for about two hours every night, I was just crying, crying because I just wanted out, I wanted out of this family. I didn't like the family I was with, I didn't like this life, I just wanted to check out. I just, and I remember I just wanted all this to be over, to kind of get rid of the pain, it was so intense. Embrace your attachments. Submit to your unholy, entangled, earthly desires. These are the swords that cut you deep. These are the knives that cut you open, that pierce you so the medicine flows in. The sacred ache of your wanting is the only force strong enough to break you down. Down to the foundation where you are ash to the flame. Where you are total and utter defeat. This is the secret altar of love adorned with the roses of bittersweet fulfillment, adorned with the skulls of naked truth, filled with the smoke of disillusioned dreams. This is the secret altar of love. This is rock bottom, where at last true freedom can arise. When in doubt, follow the ache. But I do remember there was this kind of like, deep down inside, I knew, like, I just had a glimpse of who I really was. It was just like, I could don't do anything. Like, I had a slight glimpse of who I really was. Underneath all that crap, I had this glimmer of hope. And that was the only thing that really kept me going. And one thing I realized is those tears of pain, of sorrow, of hurt, are needed to give birth and to water the future plants and flowers of tomorrow. And this is who I am.